Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace be multiplied. Today we want to look at a post-resurrection appearance of our resurrected Lord. Found in St. Luke's Gospel, St. Luke 24, verse 13 through verse 32. Also in St. Mark 16, verse 12 and 13. We know that when Jesus Christ was resurrected from the dead, he made several different appearances during his 40 days that he would be upon the earth. So this one we want to talk about is the one when he was with his two disciples who was on their way home, who lived in a small village um outside of jerusalem and as they were traveling later on in the day remember they came to jerusalem and they were heading home it was easter it was resurrection sunday jesus had been risen from the dead but jesus appeared to these two disciples they were walking away from Jerusalem. They were heading to Emmaus, Emmaus, the place where they live. They did not realize that it was Jesus who had joined them on the journey to their way home. They didn't know it was him until they welcomed him into their home and they sat down of course for a meal when they realized who it is they ran back to jerusalem to take the disciples the message that yes jesus is alive because we have seen him personally these two disciples at first they missed the significance of history's greatest event because they were so focused on their disappointments they were so focused on their problem and to complicate the matter they were walking away from the fellowship of believers that company or that fellowship was in Jerusalem and so we realize that we are likely to miss Jesus and to withdraw from the strength we find in other believers first because we are preoccupied with other things or our hopes and our expectations have been dashed so when we look for jesus in our midst we realize that we will experience his power we will experience his help that help and that power only that he brings so yes the news about Jesus' crucifixion was not a secret. This was spread all over Jerusalem, especially at this time. Jerusalem was filled with people. It was Passover week. The Jews were visiting from the cities from all over the Roman Emperor. They know about his death. They knew about his burial. They also knew about uh, his resurrection. So these two disciples uh, from Emmaus had been counting just like the other people on Jesus uh, to redeem Israel. That is to rescue the nation 
from its enemies. And so when this did not happen, and so the one whom they relied on, he was crucified, he was buried. And even when they heard that he rose again from the dead, yes, it was the third day, they still did not believe. Most Jews believe that the Old Testament prophecies pointed to a Messiah. But as anybody else, they were looking for a military and a political Messiah. The Messiah had come to redeem lost humanity from slavery to sin. So when Jesus died, they lost all hope. They could not put their trust in someone who is dead. But little did they know that his death offered the greatest hope possible. These disciples knew that the tomb was empty. But they were still filled with sadness. They were still feeling hopeless. They were still feeling disappointed. Despite the biblical prophecies, they still did not believe. Today, the resurrection still is a surprise to many. In spite of mankind having 2,000 years of witness, they still refuse to believe today that Jesus Christ came to seek and to save those who are lost. It takes for us to have an encounter and experience with the living Savior in our midst to understand that Jesus is alive. And for those disciples, this is what happened. Jesus had to be present in their midst, having communication and fellowship with them for them to actually believe that it is Jesus and that he had rose from the dead earlier in that same day. It will take Christians who are alive among unbelievers for them to believe and to understand the mission and the purpose of Jesus' coming into the world and that is to seek and to save those who are lost. So even though these disciples knew, they failed to understand that life grows out of death because they were disappointed because Jesus died. But little do they know, even when we plant a seed in the ground, the Bible says it has to die so that it can bring forth life and so that it can bring forth even more fruit. The Bible said Jesus Christ has become the first fruit of them that sleep. So we today have not only the witness of the Old Testament prophets, we also have the witness of the New Testament apostles and the history of the Christian church testifying to Jesus' victory over death. Let us put our trust in the risen Lord. The two disciples explained their sadness and their confusion to Jesus. 
but Jesus responded by going to the scriptures and applying it to his ministry and when we look at what Jesus says to them in verse 19 of St. Luke chapter 24 so they said to him and he said to them what things Jesus was asking them because they were saying to Jesus are you a stranger do you not understand or hear about the things that are, that has happened especially in this past week so they said to him these things concerning Jesus of Nazareth these are the things we are contemplating about he was a prophet mighty indeed and were uh, and word before God and all the people and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him but we were open that it was he who was going to redeem Israel indeed besides all this today is the third day since these things happened yes and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us when they did not find his body they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive and certain of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said but him they did not see then jesus said to them "O oh, foolish ones and the slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken ought not christ to have suffered these things and to enter into glory and beginning at moses and all the prophets he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself so jesus would have them to know listen don't be puzzled so he start from the book of genesis starting with genesis 3 15 the seed of the woman that jesus promised and going all through the suffering servant as we find him in isaiah 53 he talked about his piercing in zachariah chapter 12 and verse 10 the message of the covenant in malachi chapter 3 and verse 1 so they said listen it is nightfall we are inviting you to stay with us come and lodge with us and they decided they would have a meal together so they invited jesus into their home but as they sat to eat they were supposed to be the host but jesus now begin to host them take the food as it is the bread and he begin to bless it and he break it and he gave it to them and the bible tells us that your eyes were now opened and they realized that it it was jesus sometimes he has to be in our company and stay long enough in our presence for us to realize for us to acknowledge that he is the Christ that he is the Savior but once their eyes became open they realized that it was Jesus and then they didn't walk they ran back to Jerusalem to carry the great news to tell the disciples yes we have seen him yes we have been with him yes he is alive he is risen from the dead 
God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, it is free. Also share and comment and continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.